Hello fellow travelers, if you're like me and you enjoy your refreshing hot caffeinated beverage no matter where you are in the world, I'm going to show you how to make that happen. Whether you're flying by plane, van life, or whatever it is, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious cup of coffee no matter your means of travel and wherever you are in the world. You guys aren't going to believe this. This is a coffee pot, coffee maker, whatever you want to call it. This is a coffee maker. This is a coffee grinder. And this is a collapsible electric kettle. Can you believe that? So you can make coffee no matter where you are in the world. And that's all you really need is this right here. Personally, for like airline travel, I probably wouldn't bring this. I don't know how TSA would feel about that you can bring the brush I don't know there's no good place to really store it but I really don't think you need it so I would count those two out and then you got some filters here so all you need is that much room in a suitcase and then probably like a little ziplock bag of coffee because personally I probably wouldn't travel around with the foil bag I mean I, I've heard some people I mean it's not bad you might get stopped by security because they can't see it I've heard some other travel people say that personally I've never been stopped and I've brought coffee home from a lot of other countries so just I don't know I guess it wouldn't hurt to be on the safe side so links to everything here is in the Amazon store so I bought this kettle here and it actually came with a surprise I didn't know it came with this this is actually a travel cup <laughs> it's pretty cool so if you brushing your teeth or doing anything like that or if you want to drink or something kind of unrelated to this but it did come with this kit and I just wanted to kind of share that with you also has a hook here so you just if you're backpacking and you want to take this you can put down a little carabiner and then you got a lid here it keeps everything nice and clean or I guess if you want to you can put some coffee beans in here and store it but... alright so you have your hard case you have your cord Check this out. This just pops up like so. There's a little switch down here, a little lever that uh, I already forgot how to do this. Oh, pull back and that pops out. Then you slide it in that way and then you have a hook. And there you have it. And there is a line, so you have a line right here It says max, max water. So you can go fill this up with water and start it boiling. Relatively easy. Now, let me get to this because this is easy. So this I also got on Amazon, everything like I said got on Amazon. So you really just have two this is where your beans go and this is your grinder you have an adjustment here so now I know I won't be traveling with this but so all you have to do is just put this lever on it doesn't bolt on or anything it just drops in and it goes I will say I do wish they made this lever smaller maybe if it was hinged and locked or just smaller so that way it would drop inside of here for storage it would really make it the perfect travel thing but what this is is called a burr grinder so there's like a porcelain burr in there and it grinds the coffee without like uh, destroying it like a blade so it's supposed to be like the preferred method for grinding. Now, of course, if you're not into grinding coffee, you can, for all intents and purposes, when you travel, not have this and just buy uh, pre-ground coffee. So this is kind of an extra luxury if you really enjoy it. Like if you really want the freshest coffee. Because with this, you can take your beans and you can make it like a coarse grind for more of an espresso type coffee or you can make it fine for using in the AeroPress. When you don't hear any grinding anymore, it's done. Plus you 
can always look in there. You might be able to see the burr. I doubt it, but anyway, there we have it. There's just a little glass here on the side, so you can see it. Now this, this is ingenious. This is a coffee maker cup everything all in one so you have a lid here you have this little thing here that stores some of your filters in and then here is basically your coffee maker so this is your cup and your brewer this is the scoop and here is a stir cup and that's all there is to it so to make a cup of coffee remove the plunger from here put in install a filter right there on the bottom we're going to snap this piece in we're going to set it down here and then we have our coffee so obviously we need a little bit more coffee to be ground don't worry about the filters this is a 300 pack you can literally have a cup a day for almost a year if you want to replace your filter it's funny I saw a video that the, even the inventor of the AeroPress says he reuses his filter so that's what I've been experimenting with and so far I made about five cups on one filter Ooh, and it's still it's still going good so okay so we have everything in here and you just dump your coffee in here like so now we're gonna give it a little shake make sure it's nice and level now we have numbers here on the side one two three so you can make up the three cups of coffee with this so the instructions are for one cup to pour it to the number one we're gonna do and then it says to stir for about ten seconds Now don't worry, this is designed so it does not rip the paper filter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this in, like so, and we're going to start pressing. Sorry, it's warm out here. Shh. I want you to hear the coffee burn going through. The hissing. The nose how the it cleans all the beans up. This is where this little rubber lid comes in. You can just sit that in there for now. Now if you want an espresso, you're done. Drink it as is. If you're like me, you want an Americano. Because you don't want it that strong. Fill it up. The nice thing with this plastic cup, this is boiling hot water, right? These ridges here make it to where it's absolutely holdable. So it's not very hot. And there you have it. It's already in its own cup. It travels in its own, the coffee pot's your coffee cup. I mean, if you wanted to, you could pour it in another cup and drink it that way. But the beauty of it is that this is all just self-contained. Everything you want. The brewer, the pot, everything is all in the one thing. Now, yeah, if you do, if you're a camper and you're hiking, then the electric pot's probably not going to work for you. You're probably just going to have like a normal pot and you're going to make a campfire because you're probably not going to have 110. But, you know, if you're van lifing it and spaces at a premium, or even some RVs, spaces at a premium, you know this is perfect because it collapses down I mean a lot of campsites even tent sites will have 110 volts so you know you can use that brew some water so and I'll tell you what this makes a great cup of coffee <sighs> that is good I tell you, I'm absolutely the AeroPress if you do if you do some research on AeroPress you'll find that it, they actually have contests with with this thing about making coffee and a lot of like really uh, coffee enthusiasts praise praise that so it's a really good system all right everyone i hope you're as impressed with this as me so 
What a nice looking coffee cup, isn't it? There's a link down below to my Teespring store. You can buy that. You can also get one of these stylish t-shirts. Helps us fund our travels and bring you all this great advice. So what do you think about that? Uh, complete kit for traveling all around. Doesn't take up much space and you can have a delicious cup of coffee no matter where you are in the world. Your own little coffee brewing station. I don't know. I, I, I love it. Um, it's going to go with me everywhere. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Links down below. Go to my Amazon store under travel items. All these items will be listed there for you to purchase. And I get a little commission for driving you there. So I would appreciate you using those links in the Amazon store. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you subscribe. Me and the wife are going to take our RV across the country. Show you all the United States. We're going to travel through Canada when that opens up. And then we're going to get on a plane and travel the world. So I hope this uh, you find that interesting. You go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.